blasphemy law in the United States, Wikipedia article audio. In the 20th century, the United States began to invalidate laws against blasphemy which had been on the books since before the founding of the nation, or prosecutions on that ground, as it was decided it violated the American Constitution. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution provides Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press. While there are no federal laws which forbid religious vilification or religious insult or hate speech, some states have blasphemy statutes. Massachusetts, Michigan, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Wyoming, and Pennsylvania have laws that make reference to blasphemy. Some U.S. states still have blasphemy laws on the books from the founding days. For example, Chapter 272 of the Massachusetts General Laws a provision based on a similar colonial-era Massachusetts Bay Statute enacted in 1,697 states. Blasphemy Laws Prosecutions for Blasphemy The history of Maryland's blasphemy statutes suggests that even into the 1930s, the First Amendment was not recognized as preventing states from passing such laws. An 1879 codification of Maryland statutes prohibited blasphemy. According to the Marginalia, this statute was adopted in 1819, and a similar law dates back to 1723. In 1904, the statute was still on the books at Art. 27, Sector 20, unaltered in text. As late as 1939, this statute was still the law of Maryland. But in 1972, in Maryland v. Irving K. West, the Maryland Court of Appeals declared the blasphemy law unconstitutional. This law was still on the books however at least as late as 2003. Pennsylvania enacted a law against blasphemy in 1977. In the fall of 2007, George Coleman sent the completed forms for incorporating a company to the Pennsylvania Department of State. Coleman wanted to incorporate a movie production company which he called I Choose Hell Productions, LLC. A week later, Coleman received a notice from the Pennsylvania Department of State which informed him that his forms could not be accepted because a business name may not contain words that constitute blasphemy, profane cursing or swearing or that profane the Lord's name. In February 2009, Coleman filed suit to have the provision against blasphemy struck down as unconstitutional. On June 30, 2010, U.S. District Judge Michael M. Baselin of the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, in a 68-page opinion, ruled in favor of Coleman, finding that the Pennsylvania's blasphemy statute violated both the Establishment Clause and the Free Exercise Clause of the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Maine's law reads as follows. The last person to be jailed in the United States for blasphemy was Abner Neeland in 1838. The Neeland case preceded the ratification of the 14th Amendment, which incorporated the Bill of Rights and made it apply to the states and not just to the federal government. From 1925, the Supreme Court applied the Bill of Rights to all states. Joseph Burston Inc. v. Wilson In 1921 Lithuanian-American Michael X. Makus was convicted in Maine. He appealed to the Supreme Judicial Court of Maine on March 25, 1921 in State v. Makus and lost the appeal. 
In February 1926 Lithuanian-American communist Anthony Bimba was charged in Brockton, Massachusetts with blasphemy under a law passed during the time of the Salem witch trials more than two centuries earlier, as well as sedition. A widely publicized week-long trial followed, during which Bimba's attorney likened atheism to religious belief and maintained that individuals had a right under the United States Constitution to believe or disbelieve in the existence of a god. Bimba was ultimately found not guilty of blasphemy but convicted of sedition, for which he was fined $100. The last U.S. conviction for blasphemy was of atheist activist Charles Lee Smith. In 1928 he rented a storefront in Little Rock, Arkansas, and gave out free atheist literature there. The sign in the window read, Evolution is true. The Bible's a lie. God's a ghost. For this he was charged with violating the city ordinance against blasphemy. Because he was an atheist and therefore could not swear the court's religious oath to tell the truth, he was not permitted to testify in his own defense. The judge then dismissed the original charge, replacing it with one of distributing obscene, slanderous, or scurrilous literature. Smith was convicted, fined $25, and served most of a 26-day jail sentence. His high-profile fast while behind bars drew national media attention. Upon his release, he immediately resumed his atheist activities, was again charged with blasphemy, and this time the charge held. In his trial he was again denied the right to testify and was sentenced to 90 days in jail and a fine of $100. Released on $1,000 bail. Smith appealed the verdict. The case then dragged on for several years until it was finally dismissed. The U.S. Supreme Court in Joseph Burston, Inc. v. Wilson, 343 U.S. 495 held that the New York State blasphemy law was an unconstitutional prior restraint on freedom of speech. The court stated that it is not the business of government in our nation to suppress real or imagined attacks upon a particular religious doctrine, whether they appear in publications, speeches, or motion pictures. <laughs>